Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Tobin. It's time for us to get started with your meeting for today. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. What's the weather like at your house today? At Miss Tobin's house, it's rainy. Is it rainy at your house? All right, let's start your day off with your one fun thing. I want you to turn to the person sitting next to you or close to you and give them one fun thing. Your pick today. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Let's go ahead and look at our meeting board. Let's count how many things we have to do today. There's one, two, three, four. What are we going to do first today? We're going to say our Cloverleaf Pledge. Let's look at those good things. What good thing are you remembering to do at home? All right, if you promise to keep doing all of those good things, cross your fingers and let's say our Cloverleaf Pledge. Say, I can be respectful responsible, a problem solver, and safe. And I can be kind. Great job, friends. All right, let's take our Cloverleaf Pledge off our meeting board. What are we going to do next? We're going to play a game. You got it, friends. All right, so today I have a sorting game. We have to sort some animals. What kind of animals are we talking about now? That's right, we're talking about our zoo animals. Do you remember what's that special word for many of our zoo animals? They have a warm body, they have fur or hair, they have a backbone and they like to drink milk. They're called mammals, you got it. Kiss your brains, friends. Miss Tobin is so proud of you. All right, so today we're going to sort some animals. Miss Tobin has one, two, three, four, five, six animals to sort today. We're going to sort between wild animals, maybe animals that live in the jungle, a lot of those animals we see at the what? At the zoo, you got it. Those are wild animals. And we're gonna sort what we call tame. Can you say that word? These are our pets. Hey, the ones that can live with us. Hey, okay. so I want to start down here with my first animal. Let's see here. What is this animal? It's a lion. Do you think a lion is a wild animal or do you think it's a tame animal? Does it live in the jungle or the zoo or does it live at your house? It's a wild animal, so we're gonna sort it to this side. So what I want you to do is I want you to use that pointer finger and I want you to help me pick whether it's a wild animal or a tame animal. So let's try another one. What's this animal? An elephant, you got it. What do you think? Can you point to it? Is it a wild animal or a tame animal? It's a wild animal. It lives at the zoo. We find them in the jungle. Hey, what about this one? What is that? It's a fish. What do you think? Can you point wild or tame? If you pick tame, kiss your brains. A fish can live at your house. Does anyone have a fish at their house? All right, let's try, we have three more. What's this one right here? What is that? It's a horse. What do you think? Is a horse a wild animal or is it a tame animal? You sort it. It's a tame. We don't find it in the jungle, not in the zoo. All right, we have two left. What is this animal? 
It's a dog. What do you think? Is it wild or tame? If you pick that T for tame, you got it. All right, last one. What about this one? It's a cat. What do you think? Can you sort it? It's a tame. My friends, great job sorting today. Okay, our wild animals are the ones that we're talking about this week. The ones that live in the what? In the zoo or in the jungle. You got it, friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this on Google Classroom so that way you can sort at home with your big person. Great job playing our game today, friends. Let's look back at our meeting board. What are we going to do next? Our yoga, very good. So today, friends, we have a brand new number. We're gonna do some counting for our yoga. Who can tell me what our brand new number is? You got it, it's 17. There's that number, 717. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna count first before we do anything else, okay? So Ms. Tobin's going to start. We're going to use those 10 frames. If you remember those from our classroom. All right, we're going to start. Can you point with me? And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. Excellent counting, friends. So what I want you to do today is I want you to practice counting with your big person, and I want you to do some of our animal exercises okay, while you're counting to 17. So maybe you want to do the cheetah run while you count to 17, or maybe you want to do the bear walk while you count to 17, or your big person can also do a timer. You could set a timer at home hey, for those 17 seconds. All right, friends, I hope you have fun with your yoga today. It's a perfect day to do yoga inside because it's rainy out. All right, let's look back at our meeting board. What are we going to do last today? We're gonna sing a song. So I have a fun song that I think you have heard before. And if you have heard it, I want you to follow along with me. So I'm going to get out one of my zoo animals. Let's see if you can tell me what animal do I have here. I have the monkeys. Let's count to see how many monkeys I have. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Are you ready? Can you show me five? All right, it goes like this. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys do we have left? Four, show me four. Say, four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys are left? Three, show me three. All right, say, three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys are left? Two. Can you show me two? All right, say, two little monkeys monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys.
monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys are left? One. Can you show me one monkey? All right, say one little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys do we have left? No more monkeys. You got it, friends. Great job following along with that song today. Let's look back at our meeting board. Do we have anything left? No, that means we are all done. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I will talk to you later.